Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I just did a video on how to do this and make some of the pieces look like they're upside down and for a t-shirt to print. And I wasn't going to do a video on it because I think I've done a video on it, but somebody's already asked, how did you create the puzzle? And there's a couple of free puzzle generators, but I'm a big fan of e-cuts. I'm, I'm not connected with them. I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not, I'm boasting on them, but I don't have any connection with them. Um, I'm not telling you to get it. It's just a, e cuts is pretty powerful. So we'll just open up e cuts and we're going to go to effects and create a puzzle. Well, and you right here, I want it 12 by 12. I want it eight and eight. And I haven't really played around with the wave and the, the everything and hit okay. There is a 12 by 12 puzzle. Well, if I can grab it, you can see right up here, 12 by 12, there's eight puzzle pieces and you could play around, I think, with the parts. And, but, you know, I don't think any two are the same. Uh, I don't know that for a fact, but that one looks smaller. And so what you'd need to do to really use this puzzle if you're going to cut it out, all you have to do is make it a hairline and it's going to cut it out. And it's going to cut it out pretty neat because it cut it out in uh, sections or lines and not, let's break the curve apart. You can see it's, it's going to cut it out very efficiently. But if you're going to do something like I did earlier today when making these pieces, you need individual pieces. So with a 12 inch by 12 inch, Set your, now if you notice, I clicked off everything. Uh, put your nudge distance on 14. Now, this is a little time consuming, but it really makes it worth the while. If you just take your smart fill tool, set on black or red or whatever you want, and go fill it in and nudge it over. What you're doing, the smart fill tool as designed, is making a, don't ever double click on the same one, uh, you can do this a lot faster. You're not having to talk, but the smart fill ad design is making a new object. So now I'm going to only do like half of these. So you have a new object. So now these are individual objects. We can always left click, no fill, but we still have individual objects. Now that one is, looks like it's still there, but it's not because it's adjoining. So that's how I put the picture in the picture. And if we look and we have to group these together to make this work, group them all together and let's bring in this picture again. Of course, it's not gonna be as neat, but I'll make the puzzle larger. And then with both of them, let me zoom in here. With both of them selected, do your intersect tool and now you have that puzzle piece and you go to object group and ungroup. And then you have that same effect we had earlier. So that's E cuts by monster macro. Um, I think it's like $59, 59 dollars 95. And if you, if you want to search my videos, just search macro monster or just search macros and see how many videos I've got on it. I use it. I'm not going to say I use it daily, but I use it a lot. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.